All right, so we're going to rebuild all this together. So this is a complete rebuild. So the only thing I got that was new is the filter, the internal filter. Uh, this is still good. Um, this one I cleaned up, but this one I got an upgraded one from um, SSP Performance. And they got me a, all they did is a welded one. So it's an upgraded uh, shift port. And I got all these cleaned up. And I need to add the pistons that go in here and these ports and also as well here and what else I think that's it yeah so we're gonna start rebuilding this all the parts I'm just gonna use this um, synthetic uh, automatic transmission fluid this is not the fluid I'll be using for the transmission to put it in there it'll be more of a die queen tra transmission fluid but this for now is just a lubrication All right, we're going to start by putting this this part in this portion right here. So I'm just going to take a little bit, just oil it up. And then we can put it in there now. And this is like the heaviest, one of the heaviest part of the transmission. And it's kind of hard to do one hand. Feel like so. Okay, so the next part will be adding these pistons in this here and here. And from what the instructions say, um, they say it has to be uh, wet or lubricated that shouldn't be put on dry. Goes in like so. And next one. There it goes. And that should be fine right there. Okay. Now that was just two of the pistons out of the eight. So the next two would go right here. So you just grab this. Like so. I'll just grab some of this. Okay, now before we can install this onto here, we want to um, put the seals in the gasket. So, for example, this little pin right here. So, this pin would actually go right here. That's what's 
gonna sit and that's almost like a guide pin and then you have your um, four seals right here So we have one, two, three, and four. And these pins right here are I want to say like uh, I can't, can't even see them. There you go. So this piece right here is like almost like a a guide pin, and these go right here, which would be for the oil pump, the internal oil pump for your filter. So this one goes here, like so. And the next one, we'll just right here. And the next one goes. And now you could put this part onto here. And you see this little groove right here? So that's where, let me see, this part's gonna go in. So this part just slides on there. And that's where it's gonna sit. And the rest should be pretty easy. So it took me a while just to set everything in so it could be flush right here. Um, what took a while was just probably like just trying to fit it in so I just try to align um, this plastic piece and also this rail that goes down there and also this piece which we'll sit on. Let's see if I can get a closer look um, right here. Yeah. And also try to move the gears a little bit so you can shift in place and that's what helped uh, sit it on there. Also you have the guide pin that's in here that'll help you a lot. Okay. So the next part we could probably do is also uh, put these on here. So I'll try to do this with one hand. So this part goes right there. Like so. So now we're going to put the shift fork and to know which one's going to actually be on here. So you see this little, um, see if I can do it with one hand. So this piece right here is going to sit on this piston when it comes into contact. So that's how it goes, uh, what gear it's in. And that will go like so. And I'll try to find the angle it to get it in there. So the next ship work that's gonna be for the gear sets that are gonna be here, it's gonna go right here. So then this piece that's right here, it's gonna be in contact to this piston right there. So, 
So now the next gear that we're gonna so now the next gear that we're gonna put it's this one, but it's like almost like a two piece. So I might have to uh, lubricate this, and this has like two pins. As you can see, it's this one and this one, these are the ones I'm going to lubricate in there. Okay, and this gets connected to this one right here. Like so. Alright, so now this here's another angle uh, shot on this side. And what we're gonna do is just gonna slide this onto here. And that's the other ship working now. We're gonna try to uh, wiggle this through. So we just sit it on here and then that this piece right here will sit onto And there it goes. Now it's sitting in perfectly. So a little bit here. Yep. Everything looks good. So you have to like play around with this, try to get them both to uh, fit nicely in there. But yeah, everything looks good. So the next part will be adding a filter with a new pump that's gonna go on there too. It's gonna go on here, and we're just gonna place it right here. And you have your your two guides, which is this one and this one right here. And I'll set in like so, like that. My screws for those will be right here. So they're all just about the same size. So you have one right here, here. And you have this longer one too. Wrong one. That looks right. All the screws okay. here and these to um, connect all these or I mean tying them. It'll be a T30 for all these and this is the only uh, longer uh, uh, screw that's going to be on there and also for the filter it just goes in like that. Like so, and you have this uh, hole you're gonna have to line up so you can just screw it on there. Yeah, that's right there. Which is the same thing that goes on to the that's on the filter. So, if you guys are doing this rebuild and you have this, just remove it. Because it's going to be um, replaced by this little um, seal that's going to be on there, and that's part. That's why um, if you guys are having a problem trying to align it um, to this hole right here, uh, that's the reason why. So there's most of the builds right there. So now we have all our gears, we have all our shift forks, 
looks a lot better than the it having all that debris on there and especially this magnet too and this one right here I have a new filter same pump but it still works and i got it approved by ssp performance so now the way this goes on here i'll take this piece off so the way this sits it's just there's a guide on there So this is how the mechatronic unit or the belt body um, unit goes on this transmission. So then you have your shift forks right here with the magnet on the sen like just reading on the sensor. So that's how it knows like how it's gonna shift. And you have this part here and the the one inside there too. Uh, you can see um, right there. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, so you have that and a few more sensors right here and here. Yeah, so that's how it goes together. So I'm going to take this off because we don't need this. We're going to install this right now. So now we're going to put those piston rings onto the other part of the transmission case. Okay, so now here are the pistons, so we're just gonna, I'll just gonna leave it here. And just um, dip my finger in here and just put all in there. Another one here. Like so. <laughs> this thing's fighting me a bit. And the last one. There we go. So yeah, so that's it for today's video. And for next time, what we're gonna do is, we're still not done with this part of transmission. There's like a pin that goes uh, in between here that we're gonna install. And also we still need to put the bolts for these right here. And from there we could find like part Put the case on here, and yeah, so that's it for today's video.